And Cecilia, I want to switch gears now and, and pick up on that Oprah boomlet. It kind of, kind of got kicked off at the Golden Globes the other day. Possible talk about a run in 2020. What was the reaction at the White House? Well, we don't actually know whether the president saw Oprah's speech. We know his daughter did. Take a look, George. She's tweeting overnight. Just saw Oprah's empowering and inspiring speech at last night's Golden Globes. Let's all come together, women and men, and say time's up, united. As you can imagine, this got quite a response online. Uh, people like Alyssa Milano saying, hey, Ivanka Trump, you can donate to the time's up uh, movement if you want to help support people like your own father's accusers. So it got a little, a little rough online for Ivanka overnight. Now, the, in the late 90s, Donald Trump was asked whether who he would choose as a running mate if he decided to run for office. He named Oprah. And then, George, you know that interview you had with him, his sit down on the day he announced his candidacy for this office. He said, I like Oprah. So we will see <laughs> the official line from the White House is we welcome all challengers. And of course, Democrats have big decisions ahead for themselves as well. Meantime, lots of business in Washington right now. The, uh, Republicans and Democrats are going to sit down again today, trying to avoid this government shutdown that could hit later this month, January 19th. But this President Trump's demand for a border wall, still a huge sticking point. Yeah, and that shut down. The clock is ticking. This border wall, this issue of immigration is the main sticking point right now on this issue. We're looking at the shutdown and potentially just nine days away. So Democrats and Republicans will be here today for this bipartisan meeting at the White House. Look, for Democrats, it's a non-starter. $18 billion for this wall. They say no dice. President Trump, this is a huge campaign promise for him, perhaps his biggest one. He is demanding that this wall and border security be part of this funding measure. Uh, Nancy Pelosi told reporters yesterday, She's skeptical they can get anything done during this meeting. So that just shows you, George, where they're starting on this one. Really, both sides digging in here. Meantime, on immigration, yesterday, uh, Cecilia, the Trump administration taking away that protected status for Salvadorans, some 200,000 Salvadorans who've been here since 2000. Yeah, more than a quarter of a million people we're talking about here. So they were granted this temporary protected status after that devastating an earthquake back in 2001. Essentially, it protects uh, Salvadorans in the country illegally from being t uh, deported. They now have until uh, September 2019 to stay in this country. Look, the big question, how are you going to actually force all of these people out of this country? They're here. They've got lives here. Their country depends on these remittances. Uh, Schumer is calling this heart.